Hello. Hello, Come doc. in, please. Take a seat, please. Dr. Ho, so how was your travel going here? Well, it's kind of wet because of the rain. Um, so I have to be careful when driving. Yep, it's a little rainy today, huh? So do you like rainy days or sunny days? Well, I prefer sunny days because for me, it's, um, sunny days is more of a cheer cheerful day than rainy days is more of a gloomy thing. Speaking of gloomy days, Doc, there's a little bit of pain in this area that's making me gloomy all day. Oh, that's awful. Let's talk about it. How do you prepare for the day as a pain management doctor? Well, I wake up in the morning. I always check my phone for any updates that I miss during at night. What are your go-to healthy breakfast meal? Well, I seldom eat breakfast. I just drink water. You have to keep yourself hydrated. Doc, what exactly do you do as a pain management doctor? Well, being a pain management doctor is more of relieving the pain of your patients or my patients. Um, I see the fulfillment when I relieve their pain and then also the satisfaction that I get from the patients that thanking you if you relieve the pain. Are there other locations you attend to aside from the pain clinic? Yeah, there's a lot. Let me show you. All right. Doc, I have a question. Yeah, sure. What is chronic pain? Well, chronic pain is more of a pain that's more of six months and then it doesn't go away. Uh, maybe there's a cause that causing the pain like cancer or tumor or anything that's wrong with, uh, something with your body. Should we be worried about chronic pain? Yeah, because um, chronic pain can make your life miserable and you can't work if you're having this kind of pain and also you're not going to be so productive if you have the pain. Doc, what's the difference between chronic pain and acute pain? Well, acute pain is more of an injury that you feel the pain and it goes away right away. But for chronic pain, it's more of a lingering pain that goes more than six months and doesn't go away. Do patients go immediately to the ER or in the pain clinic? Well, some of the patients go to the pain clinic if they're not really uh, having excruciating pain. But if you're going to be like uh, very having a very severe pain, uh, I suggest you go to the ER so that you'll be given the pain medications right away. Just like this, uh, this patient, he's having excruciating pain. So if we give the pain medication through the IV, uh, the pain will go away and then we're going to treat it as an outpatient or it can be admitted. Do you still remember your first ER moments? Well, my first ER moments was when I was treating a cancer patient. Uh, he's having his maintenance pain, but still he's having this very excruciating pain. So we have to give him the IV pain medications. And then after a few minutes or so in an hour, he's very happy. And we just adjust the pain medications and we send him home with a smile. How about the operating room, Doc? Do you ever go to the operating room? Yeah, I also do some procedures in the operating room. So let's go. Welcome to the operating room. So some of you are going to ask me, what's the relationship with the pain clinic and the OR? Well, some of my patients seen in the pain clinic are being scheduled in the OR if there's an indication for like nerve blocks, epidural injections, and some of the pain procedures. Doc, what do epidural injections do? Well, epidural injections does it like it, we inject the local anesthetics in your body or in a space or the epidural space and then it uh, blocks the pain signals that causes the pain. Aside from the ER and the OR, are there other places that we'd visit today, Doc? Yeah, uh, we have one more location that we can go to. Uh, so let's go. Hello, welcome to the doctor's lounge. 
This is where doctors take a break and relax a bit from the daily rounds. Doc, I have another question. How does pain management improve your daily life? Well, pain management is for me is uh, it's like a fulfillment. Every time that I see patients that is not in pain or they're comfortable with their situation, it's like a satisfaction that I gain from them. Why did you choose to be a pain management doctor? Well, I chose to be a pain doctor because of the fulfillment that I see and also the satisfaction when I treat patients while relieving their pain. If not medicine, what would have been your other dream job? I'll definitely become a pilot. A pilot? Yeah, I like, I like to travel with free. Going back up, what happens if I don't address chronic pain? Well, if you don't address chronic pain, definitely your life is going to be miserable and you're not going to be productive in your life, especially with your work. If ever that I do experience chronic pain, how can we reach you, Doc? Well, you can contact the Medical City Clark. I can do face-to-face -face consultation, telemed, or I can also do home visits. What's your advice to people who choose to endure pain rather than manage it? Well, my suggestion is you don't need to endure pain because there's a lot of pain medications that we can give you. You just need to go to the right doctor. All right, Dr. Ho, last question. Are you ready? Mm, yeah. Here's the final question. Dr. Ho, nasaktan na po ba kayo? Maraming beses na. Hi, I'm Dr. Henry Ho, your pain doctor at the Medical City Clark and your partner in health.